By monitoring the cosmos with a radio telescope array, an international team of scientists has detected radio bursts emanating from the constellation Boots, that could be the first radio emission collected from a planet beyond our solar system. The team, led by Cornell postdoctoral researcher Jake D. Turner, Philippe Zarka of the Observatoire de Paris, Paris Sciences et Lettres University and Jean Mathias Griesmeyer of the Université d'Orléans will publish their findings in the forthcoming research section of Astronomy Astrophysics, on We present one of the first hints of detecting an exoplanet in the radio realm, Turner said. The signal is from the Tau Boot system, which contains a binary star and an exoplanet. We make the case for an emission by the planet itself. From the strength and polarization of the radio signal and the planet's magnetic field, it is compatible with theoretical predictions. Among the co-authors is Turner's postdoctoral advisor Ray Jayawardhana, the Harold Tanner Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and a professor of astronomy. If confirmed through follow-up observations, Jayawardhana said, this radio detection opens up a new window on exoplanets, giving us a novel way to examine alien worlds that are tens of light years away. Using the Low Frequency Array, LOFAR, a radio telescope in the Netherlands, Turner and High. The group also observed other potential exoplanetary radio emission candidates in the 55 Cancri, in the constellation Cancer, and Upsilon Andromeda systems. Only the Tau Boots exoplanet system, about 51 light years away, exhibited a significant radio signature, a unique potential window on the planet's magnetic field. Observing an exoplanet's magnetic field helps astronomers decipher a planet's interior and atmospheric properties, as well as the physics of star-planet interactions, said Turner, a member of Cornell's Carl Sagan Institute. Earth's magnetic field protects it from solar wind dangers, keeping the planet habitable. The magnetic field of Earth-like exoplanets may contribute to their possible habitability, Turner said, by shielding their own atmospheres from solar wind and cosmic rays, and protecting the planet from atmospheric loss. Two years ago, Turner and his colleagues examined the radio emission SIG. Those results became the template for searching radio emission from exoplanets 40 to 100 light years away. After poring over nearly 100 hours of radio observations, the researchers were able to find the expected hot Jupiter signature in Tau Boots. We learned from our own Jupiter what this kind of detection looks like. We went searching for it and we found it, Turner said. The signature, though, is weak. There remains some uncertainty that the detected radio signal is from the planet. The need for follow-up observations is critical, he said. Turner and his team have already begun a campaign using multiple radio telescopes to follow up on the signal from Tau Boots. In addition to Turner, Jayawardhana, Griesmeyer and Zarka, the co-authors are Laurent Lamy and Baptiste Cecconi of the Observatoire de Paris, France, Joseph Lazio from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, J. Emilio Enriquez and Imca de Pater from the University of California, Berkeley, Julian N. Gira. Turner, who laid the groundwork for this research while earning his doctorate at the University of Virginia, received funding from the National Science Foundation. Story source. Materials provided by Cornell University. Original written by Blaine Friedlander. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.